Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on coarctation of iota. Coarctation of iota, COA, is the narrowing of the descending iota. Descending iota is this red colored iota here, which is typically located at the insertion of the ductus arteriosus, just distal to the left subclavian artery. So there is narrowing of the descending iota. The symptoms that the patient might complain differs according to the severity of the coarctation. So if it is mild, they may present with heart failure symptoms or systemic hypertension. If it is severe, there will be duct dependent circulation and also circulatory collapse in the neonate. The signs that we should look out for are weak and absent peripheral pulses, radiofemoral delay, Blood pressure in the upper limb is higher than the blood pressure in the lower limb and there might also be a systolic murmur heard over the upper left sternal edge. To investigate for coarctation of iota, we can do chest x-ray to look for rib notching and also the tree sign. So the first picture here, this is a chest radiograph of an adult patient who has coarctation of the iota and you can see that there is rib notching so the image A shows rib notching in the posterior and the inferior aspects of the right side ribs, starting at the third rib and is most obvious in the seven and eight ribs pointed by the arrow. Whereas the image B is a magnified view of the notching of ribs seven and eight. The second picture shows the figure three sign, which is also seen in coarctation of the iota. And this figure 3 is formed by the pre dilatation of the aortic arch and the left subclavian artery. So the indentation at the coarctation site, also known as the tuck, and also the post dilatation of the descending iota, forming a figure 3 sign. We can also do ECG and look for the signs of left ventricular hypertrophy. So this picture shows the ECG with the signs of LVH, the left ventricular hypertrophy, where you can see in the V5 and V6, there is a dominant R, and in V1, V2, there is a deep S wave, and the total is more than seven big squares. Then these are suggestive of left ventricular hypertrophy. The third investigation is echocardiography, which helps to evaluate the heart structure and function, and we can also assess the blood flow pattern and assess where the coarctation is and the size of the coarctation. So this picture here, the arrow labeled coarctation is the site of the coarctation of iota. For management, in neonates with severe coarctation of the iota, sick infants will require temporary stabilization, which includes mechanical ventilation and also correction of any metabolic imbalances, acidosis, hypoglycemia, or electrolyte disorders. IV prostaglandin E infusion helps to open the ductus arteriosus and relax the tissue at the coarctation segment, so helps to relieve the coarctation. And other treatment includes early surgical repair, single-stage COA repair plus the ventricular septal defect closure, or a two-stage COA followed by the closure at a later date. Whereas for asymptomatic or older children with discrete COA, they may present with an incidental hypertension or heart murmur heard. So the choice of treatment can be primary transcatheter balloon angioplasty, stent implantation or surgical repair, depending on the morphology of the COA and also the age of the presentation. That's all for this video. Thank you.